Hey everybody, this is the course welcome video for Quan 3610 Business Statistics 2 for the summer of 2022. So I'm Gavin Roberts, I'll be your instructor this semester. And just a little bit about myself, I'm an economist at Weber State University, an economics professor. And I have a lot of experience teaching statistics and using statistics in my career. Um, a big example of that is that I was an energy analyst before I became a professor. And a lot of the skills that you are going to learn in this course are the skills that I use all of the time in that class. So um, that's really all I'm going to tell you about myself for now, but I hope that you reach out to me to meet with me throughout the semester so I can get to know you individually better. Um, I'm happy to help you with homework anytime you're struggling or help you prepare for the tests. So please don't hesitate to reach out to me. One really important thing that I want you to know is I will primarily communicate with you as a class through Canvas announcements throughout the semester. So you should make sure that you're checking those regularly or that you have the notifications turned on so you'll get an email or some type of notification when I send out those announcements. Now I'm gonna just say goodbye to you guys, at least my face is gonna say goodbye because I want to have this video being about how to navigate the Canvas course because it's gonna be totally online. So you're really gonna be using Canvas to do the vast majority of stuff in this class. So, see ya. So this is what our Canvas course is gonna look like to you guys. And so there's a fun little joke there you can take a look at. But let's take a look at the syllabus. So this is Quan 3610, summer 2022, as I mentioned. I'm Gavin Roberts. This is a phone number you can reach me at. The best way to reach me, which I check all the time, is this email address right there. That's the best way for you to get a hold of me if you want to set up an office hours appointment, for example. So those are by appointment. I have it saying Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., but I am really flexible in terms of willingness to meet you guys. So just if that those times don't work for you, just send me an email, and I'll probably be able to make something outside of those work. Now, this is the required book. The most important thing is that you have access to web assigned homework because that's going to be the main place that you're doing homework for this class. And as you can see right here, that's going to be a big part of your grade. I'm going to talk about that more in a second. Um, going over grading, so the web assigned homework and I'll have a case study assignment at the end of the semester, that's going to be half of your grade. And the other half of your going to grade is going to come from three online exams that you take this semester. Um, just some basic information about web assigned homework. All of this stuff is pretty standard, so I'll jump over that. So. For you guys, the best way to get a handle on the schedule that you're going to have, so right here you can see every single homework assignment and exam and when they are at the bottom of the home page. I'm just on the home page because if you click home, notice that it just goes to the syllabus because I've made the syllabus the home page. And so you can see I've actually given you quite a bit of time for your first homework, but then you have homework due every single Monday. Those are all due at 11.59 p.m on those Mondays, so you have until the end of Monday to complete the homework. Let's click on one of those just to see what it'll look like. And so in these, I'm just basically telling you what assignments in WebAssign you need to do for that particular homework. That information will also be inside of WebAssign. And so let's see how that works. Because you will be doing the home, that type of homework is going to be the main way that you're doing work in this class. I've just put the link to WebAssign homework right on the top of this home page. So notice if we click that, you can see that there's a module at the very top called WebAssign homework. You can also get here by just clicking modules on the left hand side and it'll be the top one. Then if we click on that, for me, it's already automatically opening it. The first time you do this, it might say something like, click here to open it for the first time or something like that. Yours will look different than this, from this. And the very first time you do this is you're gonna have to put in an access code if you've already bought it, 
or you're going to need to purchase access to WebAssign. And that will also include a version of the text textbook right here. So really you should only, I would only recommend buying like the bundle from the bookstore if you want a physical copy of the textbook. Because I think it's gonna be a little bit cheaper to just come here and buy access for the semester. Or if you bought two semester access, because there's a good chance you use this in your last statistics class, as long as you did that this the semester that just ended, you should still have access and you might just have to log in with your credentials or possibly put that same access code in or something like that. But anyway, this is just the ebook. These are all of the chapters. It is pretty quick to read the chapters. We're not covering that many of the chapters because this is the second part of statistics, your statistics course. So we're actually not gonna, you're probably never gonna use this particular chapter. And so let's get out of there. But really the main purpose of this video is so that you know how to get access to the book. I've given you plenty of time to do that in order to get this homework done due. Notice that's gonna do until two weeks after the start of the course because the course starts on May 9th. But then after that, you will have some homework due every Monday. It should be pretty relaxed in terms of homework load. The reason I've done that is because I really want you to understand each of those subjects well, so I don't want to overload you with the statistics in any given week, but I do expect you to understand better those topics because I'm sort of spreading it out for you a little bit. Um, again, another important thing is that I will be mainly talking to you guys via Canvas announcements, and so it's important to have those notifications turned on. And so let me leave student view really quick. So I have access. The reason that you don't have this yet is because I haven't sent any announcements yet, but I will start doing that once the Canvas page opens. So please just reach out to me if you have any questions about access to the book. That's really the most important thing in the short run is spending this time making sure you have access. Once you have that, I'd encourage you to just start looking at the homeworks. Oh, another thing that you should see is that if you go to the modules here, we have basically three sections. So there are three modules in your course. Let me go back to student view so that you can see what that's going to look like from your perspective. So if you go to modules, module one is called hypothesis testing. That's chapters nine and 10 of the book. Module two, simple linear regression, is chapter 14 of the book. And then module three is multiple regression, which is chapter 15. We do hit a little bit of chapter 16, but just the very beginning of it. And so you'll see that in the web assigned homework. Um, I don't think I have it in that one right now, but again, you will see all of these assignments when you're in the web assigned homework too. So I'll just update that in Canvas. But the other thing you should see from here is that if you click on these, you'll, that's how you'll also access the lecture videos. So you can watch them here, or you can actually go, they're all in YouTube. And so I'm kind of a crazy person, so you can see that I'm being all crazy at the beginning of the videos to try to lighten up the mood before we take a deep dive into statistics. But I've organized those lecture videos in the modules so that those will be the lecture videos that not only help you do the different homeworks, homework one, for example, because that will be about simple hypothesis testing, basically. So these are the videos that'll help you prepare for the homework. I have also have a couple homework help videos where I actually go into the web assign and I show you how to do them. I strongly encourage you to basically use Excel all of the time when it makes sense to do that on these homeworks and it almost always makes sense if they give you the data. So you can copy and paste the data out of those homework problems into Excel. That's usually how I do it in the homework help videos. And even when it's like formulas and stuff, I just, I use Excel as sort of like a big calculator. So I strongly encourage that you to do that too, because regardless of your major in the business school or really outside of the business school, having Excel skills is really important. So a big part of this class is gonna be trying to improve your Excel skills. 
And so that's it for this first lecture video. Please let me know if you have any questions. I will send this out in email and send it as an announcement. And so I hope to meet you soon. Bye-bye.